Hi, this is Glenda. Um, I feel like I haven't been crafting forever because I've been doing a bit of a clean up. Um, and I don't think I've made a card for over a week. That's really a long time for me. Uh, so I'm back to making some toddler baby cards. Um, although I must admit these three I did do like a week ago. So I played with some watercolour. And that's one of those little cuddle bug embossing folders. If you've been crafting for a while, uh, you may have a little stash of those around. The little tiny, like about two inches square. Really useless things because you can only get them in so far up the paper. But I did the letterpress type technique on it and sort of gave it a bit of a new lease of life, I think. Um, and I played with some glitter and. I did some ribbon weaving because I tidied all my ribbons and um, I'm trying to get rid of them now because I've got all these little odd bits and I'd love to get it down to just the spools but anyway we'll see. Uh, so there's those but what I actually have for you today um, is a candle birthday card and it looks like this. So it is a scouting card. Um, but that's what I'm up to at the moment. I saw a, a card something like this and, and it took my fancy so I thought I'll have a go at that. So there's that one and there's that one. Um, and of course it'll stand up but then you won't be able to see it. Um, but I, I thought that was really cute. So um, what's in the file, I can put these aside. Uh, you get the base card um, and it's not scored and then there's all these little um, banners that go on it that have the letters that say birthday panels. Um, I put in a separate uh, flame and a separate single panel if you want to cover the whole bit and then of course the birthday ones um, all have the letters in them probably should have put a plain one in. I didn't, no, I did put a plain one in, I think. Um, but this is the, the main part. So when you cut your file, you will have to score it yourself. So nothing lines up. You just have to keep moving it along your scoreboard and score down all the little bits. And then it's just going to concertina. Um, let's see. I'll go with the textured side on front. So I'm just going to fold it back and forth. Press it down. Glitter card has now put glitter all over it. The trouble with glitter cards. So the little panels just go on I haven't been using dimensionals um, because of the bulk that it has when it's folded up already. So what I did on this one was just put a little piece of blue cardboard behind it. Um, to make the letters stand out and on this one they're just very subtle I mean you can see them quite clearly in person um, so we'll stick those down and try to we take and sides to behave have inked the edges on all these.
Okay, so on this one I used the flame to cut out some glitter paper for the flames. There's a separate flame is what I'm trying to say, a little piece. On this one I put some gold wink of Stella, which I have to say I'm not a fan of. Um, and on this one I thought I would try putting some random sort of colour on with a Copic marker. And then use the clear wink of Stella, which I am a fan of. And this is the wink of Stella that I refilled. I have found that they have a very short life. If you like putting wink of Stella on things, you'll find your clear pen will run out very quickly. And I used. Um, 50-50 of the runny iridescent medium that you get at the art shop and water and you can quite easily get the, the bit out of here put your medium in there and refill your wink of Stella I have a new one and I have this one and you cannot tell the difference. Okay, so there's my flames. Um, now for the happy, I cut out, um, this is just one of the built-in words on the scan and cut. And I've actually cut it twice and I'm just thinking whether or not I'll use it twice. So happy, happy birthday. I might do that. Uh, where's my glue? And everybody's going on about um, what's it called? Matte medium to use as a glue, and I got this at the art shop, and I love it. It's it just does dry completely matte and clear so that you don't get the mess that you get on almost everything else. And I just put it in a little tiny bot. Just grab a block to put on that. little monkey that I made up and I think I might just put him put him like that then he'll actually peek out a little bit when it's closed which might work I'm hoping this hot glue is now hot let me just turn it on Ooh, barely few enamel dots I thought I would randomly place.
And I might leave it at that. <coughs> and I won't fold it up because obviously everything's still wet and I will put a glue dot under that in a minute. Um, but that's the candle birthday card. And you will have realised that it does not fit in a standard envelope. So, if you would like to make an envelope with your envelope punch board, it's not a straightforward recipe. What you want is a 6 inch square piece of paper and you're going to put it on 1 and 5 eighths punch and score. Turn it round completely so it's 180 degrees. Put it back on 1 and 5 eighths punch and score. Then your other two punches you're going to line up the line and line up this score so it's sort of going to come just past the line and it doesn't line up with anything here in particular so it's just a case of a visual on it and then the same on this one so you're sort of lining up as close as you can to the score and to this bit here and that's as near as I can sort of get it because this is not standard Obviously you could not put that in the mail without putting it in a larger envelope first, but this is very bulky when it's um, made up anyway. So then you're going to cut off, line, put your score line here on your one and a half inch, cut off that. The same on the other side, because obviously those flaps are way too wide. And then it's just a case of putting it together. And there's my little tiny mini envelope which measures five and five eighths by one and three quarters. So <laughs> very non-standard. Um, so that's the candle birthday card with envelope. As I said, it's um it is a little bit bulky when it goes in the envelope, which is this one. But it does go in, as I said, it's quite thick. But um, you know, if you're popping it in a present or these are for play groups, so they're handing it to the person anyway. Um, and it's a scan and cut file. It's going to be an SVG, but the software I was trying to use was playing up so much it didn't end up that way. Um, I'm rambling well and truly. Thank you for watching.